Welcome to Focus on the Falls. I'm John Merck here. Excited to be joined by Nikki Williams, the Director of School Nutrition. Nikki, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Here in the kitchen at Ben Franklin, this place is clean enough to you can eat off any surface. Sure. It's fantastic. Absolutely. I want to ask you about some of the new items. Let's maybe start with that. At the high school, there's some new stuff. What's exciting in school nutrition when we talk about the high school? So at the high school, we're piloting some new stuff, um, mostly for breakfast right now, and actually so, things for lunch too. But uh -huh. um, for breakfast, we've been doing whole grain donuts. I know parents oh, feel a little weird when they hear about donuts, <laughs> right? Because they're like, they're donuts. Um, but these donuts are not fried. They're 51% whole grain, and we make our own frosting, which is oh, really nice. cool. Yeah. So um, we've been doing that. We actually just received a grant for next year. Um, and we're going to be able to buy some blenders and mixers. Oh, how cool. Which will be really cool. So we want to do smoothies. Um, we're going to try and start making our own homemade muffins. Next wow. Year. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. This year we've done parfaits, a lot of parfaits. The kids love parfaits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we've been doing those too. Uh, speaking of parfaits and fruits and veggies, fruits and veggies, how tough is it to get kids interested in eating fruits and vegetables? And what do you do to keep it fresh and exciting and interesting for the kids? Um, what's interesting about that is when you don't offer fruits and vegetables, they don't take them, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. But when you put them out on the line and you give them a variety of fruits and yeah. vegetables to eat, they will technically, usually they'll go and they'll find vegetables and fruits that they like. Yeah. And some of these trays have become so pretty over the last couple of months because we're offering this variety and they're picking those and choosing those and eating them. So it's really exciting to see probably one of my favorite things this year that we've done. Is oh, that's cool. These extra fruits and vegetables. Is it easier to get a small kid to eat fruit or veggies? Probably fruit. Because it's a little sweeter, maybe. Yeah, maybe carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah carrots are always big, but. Nikki Williams is with us. We're talking school nutrition. Why is feeding our kids so important? I think we kind of take it for granted, but it's a critical part of the operation in a school district. Yeah, I think breakfast and lunch both are very important. We've seen huge growth in our breakfast program. Um, but it helps kids focus. Um, it, there's actually studies that prove it improves um, test scores, mm -hmm. behaviors, mm -hmm. a whole lot of different. And we've seen actually changes in behaviors across the district because um, we do offer breakfast every day. Um, so it's big. It's Whenever we talk about any issue in a school district, budgeting and dollars become part of the equation. Is it a challenge to do what you want to do for our kids and stay within a budget? Everybody has to be conscious of you know, what their budget is. Yeah, so um, this year has been different because all the kids eat breakfast and lunch for free, and that's yeah. federally funded. Yeah. So with that, we do have more budget money, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, next year will be different, so we'll have to play with that a little differently next year. But So when I grew up, it was the rectangular pizza, and it was the pile of tater tots, and I know things have changed. The question related to that, do you make things in-house? Do you buy things prepackaged? Is it a combination? How does that work? We've actually, in the beginning of the year, we were doing a lot of prepackaged food, um, and we've really gone away from prepackaged. Uh -huh. There are some things that are really hard to get yeah. prepackaged. Yeah. Um, but we have 100% beef products now, so our taco meat's 100% beef. Um, at the high school, we've piloted some actual um, like almost beef steak that we slow roast for five hours. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that's so nice. that becomes part of our, um, we have like a rice bowl that yeah. the kids can build on their own. Oh, that's fun. Um, so we're doing those kinds of things to get those incorporated. So we have moved away from packaged, prepackaged food to more fresh, homemade. We make our own spaghetti sauces now. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So it's Is pizza still popular? Pizza's always popular. So is the pizza different than the pizza I described when I was growing up in school? Yes. <laughs> is it healthier? It is. So our pizza has to be low sodium. Um, the cheese is low fat and the crust on all the pizza is a 51% whole grain. That's amazing. Yeah. And the kids like it. It's good. They like it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, they don't always know all those things. You're right, right, they right. Do, we'll they keep like that between it. us, yeah. maybe. <laughs> right. Um, and the pizza when we were in school was very different. They didn't have those guidelines that they had to follow. So, What are the biggest challenges in your job and in providing a nutritious and delicious offering for our children? I would say the big, well, this year is different, right? Yeah, it's a di right, it's different. <laughs> yep. um, so this year, um, food shortages have been a challenge for oh, us. Oh, interesting. So we've scaled back our menus to two week rotations. Um, with the goal of making sure that we have the items that are on the menu. 
Um, and there was a little bit of time in there where it was pretty sticky. Um, and then labor shortages have been really big this year too. Um, so those are probably the biggest challenges when getting kids to eat is really just figuring out what they like. We sometimes know what kids like to mm -hmm. eat, and then mm -hmm. we find out we have no idea what the kids like to eat. And it changes almost every other month. So. so are there things that the kids get as a splurge or as a treat? Are there desserts that rotate through? Are there things that, I don't want to say aren't as nutritious, but are, are at a different level when it comes to just something that would be more a treat? Yeah, so this year we brought in, they're called Sidekicks. Um, it's a, a blended juice that's frozen, kind of Ooh, like an Italian uh -huh. ice. Um, the really cool thing about those is that they're made with 100% fruit and vegetable. So we have one that's red, but it's actually made with carrots and sweet potatoes, and you wouldn't be able to oh, tell Oh, interesting. The yeah. yeah. And then it's um, the coloring in it to make it the red is turmeric. So there's just, and beet juice, I think, is in there. So but then it are, looks like a red cherry slush. It looks like something you'd get at Dairy Queen. Yeah, yeah. And, and it tastes they're, great. They're good, yeah. And the so. kids don't even know that they're, that's really good for you, yeah. too. And even the cookies are 51% whole grain. We have to serve 51% whole grain. We don't have to, but we do. Um, so the cookies are typically 51% whole grain. So that's another thing. All of our breakfast items have to be the same way. Uh -huh. So a lot of people don't realize that background stuff when it comes to lunches and breakfast. So if you're on a desert island and you can take one thing from the high school menu with you on the island, what's the oh, thing you're going to no. take with you? Um, I think probably the rice bowl is my favorite. And they can make that? So like the ingredients are sitting out and then they choose what they want in the yeah, bowl? Yeah, so what we have is we have, we have fried rice and <laughs> then we have usually some kind of chicken and then the, the beef, the 100% beef we make, and then we have four different sauces. So, and we, mm -hmm. we've been trying to get egg rolls, so that's one of those items we just yeah. haven't been able to get this year, and then we give them a fortune cookie. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah. So they, that, it's not our most popular day, which is surprising to me. Like I said, that sounds to me really great, Yeah. but it's yeah. not one of our most popular days, but it's the, we have four different sauces we use. So. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. All right, so make the pitch for joining your team, because like anybody, and you mentioned this, labor <laughs> shortage is real, and this is a cool job and a cool place to work, and you're always looking for good people, right? We are. Um, I think the pitch for this is, if you want a job where you really can see the difference you're making, yeah. this is the job to have. Um, you see the same kids every day, and I have said this from the beginning. I've been in school nutrition for about seven years. The, the women that work, or women, men and women that work in these lunchrooms, see the same kids every day. Yeah. And they see behaviors they have. They see, mm -hmm. we notice some th things that sometimes nobody else sees. And it's just really fun to watch them make different choices and tell them, you know, they come up yeah. and we like the lunch today, thank yeah. you so much. So it's just a cool job. It's very rewarding in that sense. And if you're interested in being part of the team, you can check out the district website. There's good information there a place where you can apply for jobs in the district. Nikki Williams is the Director of School Nutrition. What you do is so important. Thanks for Thank spending you. some time with us. Thank you.